in the age of social media, where every detail of a public figure's life can become fodder for scrutiny, the experience of Eva Murray serves as a stark reminder of the harsh realities faced by many. When the actress and lifestyle blogger, daughter of the legendary Susan Sarandon, tied the knot with Chef Ian Hock in June, she anticipated sharing her joy with the world. Instead, she found herself in the crosshairs of unsolicited criticism that left her in tears. Join us as we delve into Eva Murray's emotional journey, examining the impact of online negativity and the broader implications for personal expression and body image. Eva Murray, a woman accustomed to the spotlight through her own career and her illustrious family background, found herself unprepared for the wave of negativity that followed her wedding. On her blog, Happily Eva After, she shared the painful moment of reading mean comments about her wedding dress, a piece she had chosen with care and love. I felt hot tears spring to my eyes in a way that brought me right back to middle school, a Murray, 39, wrote. The comments were not merely critiques of fashion, but personal attacks aimed at her appearance, particularly her breasts. Here were people I didn't even know and who didn't know me, spending time and energy typing something that they hoped would bring me one thing and one thing only, shame. Despite her celebrity status, Eva's reaction underscores a universal vulnerability. No one is immune to the sting of hurtful words. She recounted how she had hand-selected photos for People magazine, in which she felt beautiful and exactly like herself. Yet, the joy she intended to share turned into a viral moment for all the wrong reasons. I was so taken aback by the fact that it was already viral, and for two reasons completely out of my control, my breasts. A Murray explained that her natural breasts fluctuate with weight as a mother of three who has breastfed all her children. This reality, far from shameful, is a testament to her life's journey and her role as a mother. The comments were brutal, yes strapless dresses aren't for everyone, awful, inappropriate dress, awful dress. So unflattering. Put them away. Such remarks highlighted a societal obsession with unrealistic body standards, particularly for women. A Murray's response was both heartfelt and empowering. She noted that while her breasts are not as perky as they were at 20, my body isn't something I'm ashamed of, and moreover, the more your décolleté is exposed and opened up, the more flattering your clothing is to your whole figure in general. Eva's experience is a microcosm of a larger issue, how women's bodies are policed and critiqued, often mercilessly, by society. She expressed her dismay at the emotional aggression from strangers who seemed intent on dimming her happiness. I was being picked apart by strangers for things I try to never qualify about myself, because I'm a human being just trying to feel beautiful, be a good person, raise my kids, and enjoy my life. The realization that people would have such a strong reaction to her wedding dress, a deeply personal choice, was profoundly unsettling. Her reflection on the incident led her to a powerful conclusion, the problem here was them. She defended not only her own choice, but also that of fellow bride Olivia Culpo, who faced criticism for her more modest gown. What has society come to, when you can neither be sexy elegant, nor modestly elegant, on your own terms, at your own wedding? Eva's story, coupled with that of Nick Vile's wife Natalie Joy, who also faced ridicule for her bust-bearing wedding dress, illustrates a pervasive issue. No matter the choice, women are often told they cannot win. Eva Murray's experience sheds light on the pervasive and harmful culture of body shaming, particularly aimed at women in the public eye. Her candid reflections and resilience in the face of such negativity are a powerful reminder of the importance of self-acceptance and the right to personal expression. In a world where social media can amplify both joy and cruelty, her story encourages us to be kinder and more empathetic, recognizing the human behind the image. As we navigate our own lives, let us take a page from Eva's book, embrace our choices, celebrate our bodies, and reject the unwarranted criticism of strangers. After all, the true beauty of any occasion lies in the joy and love we share, not in the superficial judgments of others.